Of course, I did not just wake up. I woke up, did some scrolling, went and took my camera, and then decided, okay, let me film a morning routine vlog where I show you what I do in the morning on a working day. And if you're new here, hello. <laughs> my name is Anastasia. I am 26, living in London, and I'm working in a big four consulting firm. At the moment, I'm on the bench, which means that I'm not on the project. I'm in between projects. And that usually means slightly more chill mornings for me if I don't have calls. That also means I can actually do my full morning routines because I have the time. So I'm going to show you what I do when I can do everything. And if you want to see how chaotic my mornings get when I am on a project, you can watch my day in the life vlogs because I show plenty of no breakfast had, no stretching done and all that sort of stuff. Let's go. So first thing that I do is uh, snooze a lot. And after 10 alarms have gone by, I usually actually get up. Then wash my face, brush my teeth, do my skincare. So that's the next step. Now that that is done, I let my face hair dry, which is weird, <laughs> I'm fully aware, but don't judge. And then I do my skincare. What I have been using for years is La Roche-Posay because I've always had problematic skin. I sometimes have breakouts, I have like a few at the moment, for example. I just find that La Roche-Posay calms it down quite well. I use it as a day cream and then on top of that I put SPF, which I'll show you as well. Right, for my eyes and kind of the area around the mouth, I currently use this one and it's a day cream that my friend gave me and it's from New Zealand so I can't really get it here in the UK. The reason why I use it here around the mouth as well is that area is quite dry for me so I tend to not use the harsher creams over here just not to dry it out any further. The SPF that I use is the Clinique one and I found that this is the only SPF that I've used that gives my skin a very good feel after and it looks better with it on than without somehow and I've tried for ages to get sunscreen into my daily routine Okay, now that is done, I'm gonna have some water because I feel thoroughly dehydrated and then after that I'll do my stretch In case you didn't know, in the UK you can drink tap water, so you don't need a filter or anything like that. Some people choose to have it still, but at the moment I'm just drinking from the tap and it's supposed to be completely fine, which is quite a luxury because I am from Russia and there, there is no way you're drinking tap water or you'll probably die if you do. So it was quite a positive culture shock when I moved here that you can just drink it. Okay, next up is my stretch. And I try and do this every morning of work days, but also weekends when I feel like it. The purpose of it is just to feel more alive. It's not really anything intense that's for, you know, proper training. But I do find that over the a few years now of me doing it, I do have stronger core and I do feel better dancing, for example. And my day at work also goes better when I do it. So I feel like there is just... So much benefit to it mentally, physically, that I really, really try and keep it as a habit. Sometimes it slips, not gonna lie, especially when I travel or when I'm just not feeling like it, when I'm feeling like a couch potato. But today is a good day that I'm gonna do it. Okay, my stretch is done and now I just want to put a bit of makeup on to make me feel alive. I don't always do it when I work at home but sometimes it does help just for me to feel more put together. So again, not always but today I feel like doing it so I'm gonna pretty much just put some concealer on and some blush. I'll show you in the light how this actually looks. So I've been in a dark corner. 
I think here you can kind of see because it's not too bright, hopefully. And you can also see my laundry and my bed sheets. Now the next step is honestly the most important step for me and the one that if you're a returning viewer, you would have seen about a hundred times. It is coffee and I love coffee. I have it when I need it for the caffeine, but I also have it just because I want it. So even on a weekend, I would definitely have a cup of coffee in the morning. I just love the ritual of it. So we're having it now. Not to switch the angle too much, but today I'm having the Shanghai Lungo Nespresso capsule. Coffee is done and a third of it is already in me. And for breakfast, controversially, I'm gonna have lunch. This is what I'm gonna have. It's a chicken mushroom pie. I love this one. It's super yummy. But yeah, I thought of making my usual breakfast, which is usually yogurt with some berries and granola and that kind of stuff. But I'm feeling like having something, you know, more, more comforting, more satisfying. So... Okay, meanwhile, why my pie is baking, I'm gonna finally log on and do some work. I do still have stuff to do even though I'm on the bench. There are some things that we want to contribute to the culture team at work based on our experience with the project. So my manager and I are putting together some materials for us to just share. And then we're also speaking at a TMT community event with my manager about our project and sharing our experience. So we're putting a couple of slides together for that that's going to be my day also alongside that you are supposed to be looking for your next project so that's on my to-do list as well That's me done with my morning routine and I've already done a little bit of work on the slide that I was supposed to do. So I'm gonna let the pie cool down, do some more in the meantime, listen to some YouTube videos in the background or some music, I shall see, and get on with my day. I hope you enjoyed. If there are any other videos you want me to make, please let me know particular topics that you find interesting and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.